Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Jen. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Colin. I heard this phrase used in the movie. I'm not sure what it means. A stitch in time saves nine. Ah,、oh, yeah. That's a proverb. It means that、uh, dealing with a small problem now can keep from having to deal with a big problem later. Or another way of saying it is that a small effort now can help avoid having to make a big effort later. I see. 就是说，现在处理解决一个小问题，可以避免以后出现更大的问题。But I don't understand. Save nine what? Yeah. So imagine you have a small tear in your shirt. If you give it one stitch, it will be fixed. But if you leave it, the hole will get bigger, and by then you might need nine stitches to fix it. Okay, but why nine? Why not five or twenty? <laughs> oh, just because it rhymes with time. Time nine. A stitch in time saves nine. Sounds good, and it makes it way easier to remember. Oh, I've just never heard of this proverb before. Well, that's not、uh, surprising, really. It's an old one, and really only used by older British people. It's、uh, never become popular in the U.S. Yeah, it was a British movie I was watching. Well, there you go. You know, there are a lot of proverbs and sayings about making an effort to do something. Do you want to hear more? Yeah, sure. Let's talk about that now. 那在今天的节目当中呢，我们就来聊一聊跟努力相关的习语。Okay, I know one. The early bird gets the worm. 早起的鸟儿有虫吃 Yeah, that's a good one. And it's used the same way as a stitch in time saves nine. It's about procrastination. Procrastination 就是拖延症的意思 The act of delaying something that must be done, often because it is unpleasant or boring. Right. Both these proverbs say not to put off doing something. My mother used to use both of them all the time. Did it work on you? Actually, yes. My mother could take cute proverbs like these and somehow turn them into a threat. <laughs> I, I don't know how she did it, but any time she said a proverb to me, I was scared. <laughs> how about this one? Actions speak louder than words. 行动胜于言语 Is that one common? Oh yeah, very common. That's an example of an old proverb that's still used by all native English speakers today. It means that what someone says is not as important as what they do. So stop talking about it and do it. Exactly. You know, one of my favorite sayings about effort is "burn the midnight oil." Burn the midnight oil means to stay up late working. 表示熬夜工作就可以用这个习语 Yeah, working or studying. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I have an important exam tomorrow, so I'm going to burn the midnight oil to prepare for it. So this must come from before the days of electricity. Yeah, right. At night, oil lamps were used, and so burning the oil meant to use a lot of oil. And midnight here just means late, you know.、Um, so you really didn't have to stay up past midnight to use the phrase. 对，因为那个时候使用的是油灯嘛，熬夜的话要点灯，所以就要烧掉大量的油。当然，这个习语当中呢，虽然有 midnight 午夜这个单词，但是并不意味着熬夜到午夜才能够用这个表达。So have you ever used the phrase elbow grease? Sure, put some elbow grease into it. Grease is any thick,、uh, oil-like substance, and for example, if you're polishing some silver or something with grease, your elbow. You use your elbow in a strong way will give you better results. So, elbow grease means to work harder, to put more physical effort into something. Yeah, elbow grease. 字面意思呢，就是在肘部涂的油脂。比如说，在擦银器的时候啊，你的胳膊就更用力的方式去擦，并且涂上一些油脂的话呢，就会带来更好的效果。后来呢，人们就把 elbow grease 比喻为体力劳动、艰苦的工作、苦差事。So it means just physical effort. That's right. There's another one about using more effort. Go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Extra 它的意思呢就是额外的、附加的。Mile 是一个长度单位，表示英里。Go the extra mile. 字面意思就是说多走几英里。那它的引申意思呢就是
to try very hard to achieve your goal. 也就是比别人期望中还要付出更大的努力。It means to do more than is necessary. Yeah, to put more effort than is needed, or to do more than is expected. For example, she went the extra mile for dinner tonight by baking her famous apple pie for dessert. Is that like bend over backwards? Yeah, yeah. Both go the extra mile and bend over backwards are about making more of an effort. But bend over backwards is usually used to make extra efforts to avoid bias. For example, the man bent over backwards to show he was not favoring his friend in the argument. 对，所以 bend over backwards， 它的意思呢，跟 go the extra mile 意思差不多，也是表示为某人或某件事情付出超出常情的努力，拼了命的去做这件事情。I remember when I was in school, we would say hit the books to make study hard. Can we use that outside of the school? Yeah, of course, it's most common in school. But if someone has work that they need to use、uh, books for, then it's perfectly fine to say it.、Mm-hmm. Like maybe a lawyer needs to hit the books to prepare for a case. 比如说一个律师要为一个案子看书做准备的话，就可以用这个表达。Yeah, good example. Even a doctor might need to hit the books to solve some problem he sees. What if we want to make a great effort but just have no more energy to use? 那如果要表示这个精疲力竭的话，要怎么说呢？<笑> yeah, well, we can say run out of steam. Why does steam mean energy? <笑> well, the first trains and ships with engines were all powered by steam, so I suppose it's like saying running out of gas or run out of power. But nowadays, it's used to mean run out of energy. 嗯，所以这个俚语应该就是跟蒸汽机的引擎失去动力有关。那燃烧产生的蒸汽越来越少，引擎的动力也就减弱了嘛。Ran out of 就是耗尽的意思。那没有了蒸汽，动力自然也没有了。So can we say this when we are tired? Yeah, sure. I'm running out of steam. I need to take a break. We can also say I'm running on fumes. Fumes? You mean like harmful or strong-smelling gases or smoke? 就是那种很熏的烟雾吗 ？Yeah. You know how、um, gas for your car smells. Well, if you have very little gas left, maybe the car is only working from that smell, the fumes of the gas, and it will stop soon. 对，因为汽车没有的时候呢，就可能发出那种比较熏的烟熏味。所以 running on fumes 就可以引申为精疲力竭。So I'm running on fumes means the same thing as I'm running out of steam. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you so much for listening. This is Colin. This is Jen. See you next time. Bye. Bye.